speaking of like preparation do you do vis- do you have you heard of like visualization before games yeah before games? yeah so like we would between yeah. Yeah, so uh, for sports, like, we typically tie, like, visualization, like, imagery together, even though imagery is more of, like, mm-hmm. a multi senses type deal. But when it came to games, I was always visualizing. Like, my pre-performance routine legit had a portion of me standing away from everybody and just closing my eyes and visualizing, all right, this is what yeah. you got to do. You're getting your mind right. You're getting your body right. You're checking and scanning everything to make sure you're ready to go out there and just play. So visualization for me was something that I utilized for my pre-performance routine. And it, for me, it worked a lot. But for, I mean, it depends on person. I'm not going to say everybody's going to be great at visualizing. Some people need like cues or things they say to themselves or, yeah. or do to get yeah. themselves like on task or focused or hyped up. So it depends on the person. Do you, do you visualize mid-game? No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What is visualization? The whole idea of visualization is basically like you imagining the performance like you're viewing the performance from uh either a first person perspective lens like you're actually doing it or taking it like third person perspective where you're watching yourself do the actual task so let's Mm say i'm visualizing myself um shooting free throws right i'm in a spot Mm -hmm. my eyes are closed it could be open as well but you're legit just running through the mechanics of like in your head of everything you're supposed to be doing whether that's your warm-up whether that's how you dribble the ball to how you shoot um, but I mean, making it a kinesthetic form of imagery works as well. So like, let's say you were just at the free throw line and you're just sitting there, no ball, but you're just going through the actual process of it yeah. where you're pretending you're doing your, throw mm-hmm. your ball back, you dribble one, two, and like get in your follow through practicing that whole thing. So that whole thing of like kinesthetic imagery, putting everything together and having that visualization. So once you get to the actual rep, it's like doing a, it's like doing a rep without doing the rep. I don't know if your coaches have ever told you like get a mental rep on the sideline or watch this person and get a mental rep. I don't know if coaches. Yeah, they've never t- they've never told me that, and I, I wish they would more. Cause like I yeah. was like watching these like you know there are these basketball like YouTubers that give you tips. Visualization like visualize ten past moments of success that you've had like in games, and then visualize like five moments that you're gonna have against this team. Like visualize yourself actually going against this team and like you know getting a step back three or whatever. And you said like. You, you have like these mental cues to like hype yourself up mid game that's interesting because i've literally started because i really need to do this to like set reminders on my phone before practice or write stuff like on my wrist like of like put yourself in this situation i know ari and dennis you guys will know what i'm talking about here and i'm gonna explain this to you so yeah. we go to summer camp together and at the summer camp we there's a big basketball game where the oldest age group plays the counselors and it's a big like a big deal like everyone gets custom jerseys and like whoever wins like it's a huge deal like you know um and this year we're gonna get to play so i remind myself because like i've been looking forward to this forever just to like play basketball like against these you know and beat these older men in a basketball game that's all i want to do in front of the whole camp run a 300 people and so i try and like when we're scrimmaging in practice i'm like okay it's called gardens. I'm like, okay, get into the guard. Like, you're you're playing in gardens right now. The what gardens would you do? Mindset. I'm trying to, I'm trying to motivate myself like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm.